Joining us right now, Congresswoman Marilyn Strickland, a Democrat from Washington State and the member of the House Armed Services Committee. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for making time for us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me here today. Absolutely. Now, we know President Biden has called for a war crimes trial against Putin, but is that even possible? Well, it is possible, but later this week, um, Congress will be voting on the Ukraine Inv Invasion War Crimes Deterrence and Accountability Act. I know that's a mouthful. And this is really going to require President Biden to submit a report to Congress on the U.S. government's efforts to collect, analyze, and preserve evidence that will lead to a prosecution for war crimes for President Putin. And so we want to make sure that obviously, you know, the images we're seeing are just stark and horrific. And there's also a propaganda war happening where you have Russians claiming that this is staged by Ukrainians. Yeah. So we're probably going to vote on this later this week. But in terms of how to hold Putin accountable, does it, it sounds like a lot of rhetoric to the American people unless there's an actual pathway there. I mean, do we go in guns blazing? Do we expect that Russia would turn him over or that he would somehow surrender? Well, I think that we're going to leave that to the administration to figure out, but we have to collect and analyze the evidence. And so it may sound like rhetoric, but we have to be very thorough and thoughtful about this. Remember, we are providing aid. We're providing weapons. The NATO allies are united, and we are definitely going to do this. What is the daily conversation on the Hill like in terms of your committee? What are the action items that are of highest importance? Maybe shine a light for the American people on the process by which we, we take action here. So um, we are going to have actually a hearing with the Secretary of Defense and the House Armed Services Committee. So we will have the opportunity, <clears throat> excuse me, to ask specific questions. But again, you know, we're going to pass this act later this week. President Biden is committed to this work. And so we're going to just have the process play itself out. We see the images every day on television. They are horrific, but we're going to pass this act. We have the Secretary of Defense coming to the House Armed Services Committee. We will ask some questions and we'll proceed on this path. There's a political writer uh, who uh, penned an op-ed saying that pursuing war crimes charges against Putin would help him instead of hurt him. Uh, do you have any concern that this is a double-edged sword? Not at all. We have to hold them accountable. So we will continue to do that along with economic sanctions, along with NATO being united, and along with continuing to send aid to Ukraine and our NATO allies. What in terms of uh, the steps that the Pentagon is taking or in terms of more humanitarian aid could be going to uh, Ukraine, uh, considering how many billions of dollars have already been sent there? Right. So, you know, the first tranche of money, the $300 million is going. There will be more money going in the future. And again, the NATO allies are dedicated to providing humanitarian aid, doing what we can to assist people and receive refugees coming from Ukraine to in different nations. But again, this is a very multifaceted effort, but I want to make sure we all understand something. Vladimir Putin has united NATO and we are dedicated to helping Ukraine. And when you say that he has uh, united NATO, uh, the importance of all of that unity, that unified front, uh, Republicans and Democrats agreeing that something more needs to be done to hold Russia and Putin accountable. Absolutely. Uh, you know, he thought that we would be divided and fractured, obviously, because he's surrounded by people who aren't giving him accurate information. But more than anything, he has strengthened our resolve and he has made us more united. Do you think Russia will get the meeting with the U.N. Security Council that they're asking for? You know, I, I, I'm not sure. I think they will. They should. But we will see what happens. And again, too, you know, at the end of the day, we all want to find some sort of resolution to this as diplomatic. But when you commit war crimes, you have to be held accountable. So more sanctions, more, you know, more weapons going to Ukraine, more unity with allies, more humanitarian aid and more ways that we can help with refugees who are coming out of Ukraine. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.